Hello everyone, my name is Kamiya Simon Peter. I've done 3ds Max for now four years and I've been trying to create some plug I, I've created plugins in uh, I've created scripts for 3ds Max in Max script and then I'm trying to add advance to plugins for 3ds Max. Now I've decided I've looked for all possible sources but I'm trying I'm still trying to understand how really 3ds Max and Visual Studio work together now the thing is they are very scarce materials for 3ds Max I got some from the Autodesk University but then I'm still trying to crack it out more especially uh, more so with the errors that come up with Visual Studio now, recently Autodesk uh, brought in Qt or Qt Studio, but I haven't try given it a try. But still, I find the errors so many and they are hard to solve or even they have a little, you solve one error, another error comes about. You solve one error, another error comes about. So, I've decided to create this video or I'm going to create series uh, specifically for problems that I find and solutions. I'm also trying to create a way that can find these answers of creating plugins in Visual Studio for 3ds Max. Now let me start with the 3ds Max 2018 installation for the SDK. And one, you require Visual Studio 2015, Visual Studio 2015, and then secondly, you require a special SDK, or it must be Visual Studio 2015 update 3 build. And then you require Max 3ds Max as uh, uh, for 3ds Max you require uh, an SDK for Visual Studio 2015, uh, which is this version 10.0, 10.5, uh, and 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 you can download it from the Visual Studio website. There is even a link uh, if you go to the Max SDK help help documentation you'll find a link of where to download that uh, that sdk now be mindful it should be this S exact sdk because uh, before i tried to download uh, an sdk that is higher than this and then uh, the solution couldn't build so that's why i th uh, until i i went back and downloaded this exact sdk so that's why i think this is very vital now you may find uh numbers greater than this zero but still it will work unless but what matters is these numbers from one zero five six those that that matters so much because when i tried one one five it didn't work at all okay now if you go to how to install the sdk how to install the sdk you go to your 3ds max installation where uh, it uh it unpacked and then this is 3ds max 2018 and then you run the setup okay and then you choose to install tools and utilities install tools and utilities so you see my SDK is already installed I didn't install the network license manager because I don't know exactly what that does maybe I'll get an explanation during my research so after then so if i go to my program files autodesk and then here is 3ds max sdk okay now next you have to go to the how to folder and then you look for the 3ds max plugin wizard so the first thing i usually do okay is edit 3ds max plugin wizard and this th th this uh, is also included in the help help documentation from the autodesk uh, website so i'm going to use uh, edit with notepad because it will help me uh, start uh, notepad as a, an administrator if i want to save and, and and replace after making the changes okay so you must make sure that this path you change it to your 3ds max plugin wizard directory so you come and copy this where is the sdk okay exactly this you you right click copy 
and then you go and paste it here and then you save now when you save uh, if you're using notepad plus plus it will ask you to it will warn you and ask you to save as an admin to run notepad plus plus as an administrator and then you do the save and then everything will be right after then I go to the how to and then right click on the max plugins folder properties okay now I go to add events no sorry I go to security and then I choose edit okay edit so I, I make sure that I have it mm, uh, able to write onto this okay I make it writable okay all application packages or restricted packages okay okay and then copy these three right click copy and then you go to your visual studio which will be in now visual studio 2015 is in uh, program files 86 that's the 32 bit visual studio 14.0 that's the engine that we're running then vc and then vc projects and then you paste okay now you can start visual studio and after starting visual studio on choosing new new project you can see the 3ds max icon okay so you can choose for example this is going to be project 2 and then you click ok and then usually uh, the visual studio online document tutorials start with uh, for i mean the 3ds max online uh, document tutorials for the stk start with the utility and then you choose utility press next okay press next and then here you paste your 3ds max sdk root that is the sdk we installed the root and then you also paste okay so let me do that let me do that so 3ds max sdk root so copy this and then you paste here all right and then the 3ds max plugins root so go to 3ds max uh, where you where your 3ds max uh, 18 is i'm using 18 you may be using a version below and then choose plugins and then you copy the address and then you paste it here all right and then lastly is where the exe of 3ds max is so the one for 2018 okay see ya. it's over here so i'll just copy and then paste hey all right and then finish now these are some of the things i really want to check out why does it ask for this save if if you really have a solution i would ask you you paste in the comment section and uh, your your solution or a reason why and then i'll i'll have to make another video for such issues or how they are solved and then <coughs> like i said this video is to help us uh, understand it better so i'm going to dig deeper find all problems find solutions for them so uh, either way whenever i press cancel it proceeds and creates the solution okay now there is an error that i've found right here so you can see right here down it's loading the solution there's an error that i've found here much as my my build is working well as in much as my build is uh, trying to build but there is an error that i find here that i want to make a solution to and i'm i'm going to make sure that in the next video is the first error i tackle if I find the solution all right so I right click one I'm going to right click the solution 
and then choose retarget solution to make sure that I'm using the right, the right SDK. Now, this has started in 2018. To me, I don't know if it has been in the previous versions because all the previous versions I've been trying to build and projects were failing. But then I found out one, I wasn't following uh, some of the Visual Studio uh, documentations of one, the right SDK. For example, Visual Studio is right, right now, uh, for example, Visual Studio is right now on 2017, uh, but in it's it's in Max 18. We are using Visual Studio 2015. So such things, I, I used to think that if if it is Max 18, then the right Visual Studio to use will be uh, Visual Studio 2017. So uh, I'm trying to solve these errors, and and I'll always post so that we will find solutions. Okay. So after verifying the SDK, uh, I'll talk about these these uh, distributions. But I want you to see the next error. So I'm going to build now in uh, on the Autodesk University. I find uh, I found videos that talk about this as a hybrid, but then some of the 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 f uh, lessons I found from GitHub, they they have this build as a debug. So I'm also asking myself about that, and I'm going to dig deeper. But let me first build as a debug, and we we'll see. So it says, of course, the project is out of date, and uh, let me build it. Okay. So there were errors. Would you like to continue? Of course, I'm going to choose no. But there is this error, link one one zero four. And this is the error I'm going to solve uh, after making research on it. So if I solve it, I'm going to post a video about this error. Let me also build as a hybrid, and I see, because we are using 64. OK. So with that, we have the same error, link 1104. Thank you for watching these videos. Uh, these videos I'm going to upload more and more videos as we find a better way to make solutions for creating plugins in Visual Studio now I would ask if you're going to create plugins for Visual Studio maybe it's better you also first try out max SDK because some of the some of these Visual Studio is just an advance uh, it helps you create advanced plugins uh, but max, max X, you will find that most of the knowledge is borrowed from the 3ds max SDK uh, for max script okay thank you so much and then let me, uh, hope we find solutions thank you